Okay, so today we're going to be learning about these animals and how to classify them by putting them in a tree diagram and AB format. So the first thing I need you to do is give me a characteristic that can put these organisms into two different groups. Okay, so we have hair or fur and no fur. So what you want to do is move them into two categories so you can separate them out. So I'm putting the fur on one side, and I always like to put the has on the right, sorry, on the left, and then not have on the right. So now we have clearly have our fur group and our no fur group, and it's time to build our tree diagram. So you want to add those terms. So we took our two categories, fur and no fur. We added them under the heading of animals. And so now we have two distinct groups forming in our tree diagram. Okay, now the golden rule is you only work with one group at a time. So you need to take your no fur group and you need to move it out to the top right corner, pile them up so they're all by themselves and we're not going to think about them until we're done dividing up these organisms. And that's the most important rule for both types of keys, the tree, tree diagram and AB format, is to only work with one group at a time. So we need another characteristic. We chose antlers as a characteristic that will divide these groups. This one has antlers and these two do not. We now need to go and add that to our tree under fur. Okay, we put our characteristics under fur of antlers and no antlers. And under antlers, we put deer. And the reason we did that is because if you look, the deer is all by itself, right? It's completely alone. That means it's been classified. Okay, now move it to the top left corner of your screen. This will be your done pile for now on. Anytime you finish classifying an organism, you'll put it there. Take the other organisms, move them out in front, and we need another characteristic. Okay, so the characteristic we chose is whiskers. We moved it on the left and no whiskers on the right. And as you can see, we have both organisms by themselves. So that will be, they will be classified. So we need to add them under no antlers. So we added a category of whiskers and no whiskers. And as we said, whiskers, tigers by itself. And no whiskers, the bear is all by itself. So we can look here and we have the no fur group left, which now that when we add these animals to the done pile, that means they're classified. We now have the no fur group left. So now we pull, this is very important to remember, you work with the most recent group you made a pile of. The most recent group that you know is next in line right and the reason i say that is because we only have six organisms so we only have two piles it's likely if you had 20 organisms you might have three or four piles and so always work with the most recent group that you put to the side is my point in this case we only have one most recent group we will work with this one next so we need a characteristic to divide these organisms so the characteristic is feathers and no feathers let's go over to our tree and add those things. Okay, so here's our feathers and no feathers under no fur. And the feathers, I know that the eagle was by itself under feathers, so that is now classified. And we'll go back and see what we need to do with no feathers. Put the eagle in the done pile, and now we need to take our last two organisms and come up with a characteristic that will divide them. Category is gills and no gills, and notice these will now be by themselves. We're done. The fish is the one with gills and the lizard with no gills. So this is what our completed tree looks like. There are several ways you can check it. Uh, one is firstly that you have six, you have all the organisms in your tree. In this case, it's six. Deer, tiger, bear, that's three. Eagle, fish, lizard, that's three more, that's six. The second thing you wanna look at is everything by itself. Did I put any double names anywhere as I looked up all the branches? Or is every name kind of alone as I move from place to place? Okay, that's very important. Right, we're not going to have deer and tiger on the same branch. We're not going to have antlers, no antlers on the same branch in the same spot. Those things are important. The last thing is, when I read it backwards, is it true? So deer has antlers, true. Has fur, true. Is an animal, true. Tiger, whiskers, yes. No antlers, yes. Has fur, yes. Is an animal. Bear, no whiskers, true. No antlers, true. Fur, true. Is an animal. Eagle has feathers, no fur. It is an animal, all true. 
Fish has gills, no feathers, no fur, and is an animal. That's all true. And the lizard, no gills, no feathers, no fur, and is an animal. All true. So now that we have this working right, we now need to turn this into something that we can use in a field. Because if you look at this, we have six organisms. Well, imagine if we had 100 or even 1,000. Think of how giant this tree would get in trying to organize that information, right? Very unwieldy in a field or really use, of, of little use to anyone. So you need to be able to turn that into AB format. So now we need to figure out animals is our category, right? Just we're going to take this tree. We're going to turn it into AB format to fit on a page. So what's the first characteristic you think it's going to be for A and B? Okay, so our first two categories are fur and no fur. That's because under animals we have fur and no fur. So we're starting here and one A has and B has not characteristics. And once we have that, we can get started, right? And so from fur, we know we're going to have to go to two because you look at our tree when we go at fur, we have antlers and no antlers. And again, just like you can't have double things here on one spot or here, you can't you can't do that on the AB format. So that means we need a new line to discuss which animals have antlers and which animals do not have antlers. And so that'll be our next two categories. Yeah, so for ant we have antlers and no antlers on line two from our go to two. And that's because again, under fur, we have antlers and no antlers. And under antlers, we have just the deer. It's been categorized. So when I go back to my AB format, I'm simply gonna write deer next to antlers. No antlers, on the other hand, need to go to three. And that's because when you're at no antlers, you've got two more characteristics to talk about with animals underneath them. So we need a new line for that. So these are going to be the categories for 3A and 3B. Now, you might be wondering why we didn't fill anything here for no fur. That's the same reason we didn't do it for the tree. We only work with one group at a time. On this first page, we first decided we had fur, and we had no fur. And we took this category and put it right up at the top here because we were not going to do anything with them until we finished the other group. It's very, very important because when you have lots of organisms, it can get very confusing. And so you have to stick with one group at a time. And so the same thing really applies here. And we'll talk more about that in a few minutes. But let's fill in a little more of this chart. Okay, so we have whiskers and no whiskers from our go to three from no antlers. No antlers, whiskers, no whiskers, and we know whiskers is going to be a tiger, and no whiskers is going to be a bear. And so now those things are classified. It's never a problem to leave the blank because all you're going to do is simply follow up the key, and whatever first blank you run into, again, we only had so few organisms, we're only going to have maybe one or two blanks. But go to the first blank you come across, and now we want to fill in what? Go to four. Very good. Go to four. Okay, so that's the next available line we have. We already used a three. Now we're going to go to four. And we continue. And our go to four is going to be our no fur group, right? So we're going to take the no fur group. And on line four, we're going to divide up the first two characteristics there. Okay, so our next category was feathers and no feathers coming from that no fur group. So we'll just double check that. No fur group, feathers, and no feathers. We work with the positive first. So under fe feathers, we're going to write eagle and then for no feathers we need another line so we have two categories to discuss okay so we filled in eagle for feathers and for no feathers we need another category and it was gills and no gills and now we take a look at our chart under gills is the fish under no gills is the lizard Okay, our key is done. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six creatures like we're supposed to have. Same as on the tree diagram. A couple ways you can check this key, just like the tree diagram. First is you will always have one number less of lines you use. In this case, we use five lines than the number of organisms you have, which was six. If we had 10 organisms, we would have nine lines here to use. If we had 20 organisms, we have 19 lines. That's the first way you know you did it right. The second thing is you will always have an A and a B for every single line, and they will be fully filled in. There will be no blanks, okay? And each, each description on the right side will either be the name of an organism or it will be a go-to, a go-to-a-new number, okay? So those are the ways you can check the key. 
The last thing you can do, just like the tree diagram, you can read it backwards. Let's do that. A lizard has no gills. True. That's number five. Let's find the go to five for the next characteristic. Here it is. It also has no feathers. Also true. Lizards do not have feathers. That's line four. Now we've got to go up and find the go to four for the next characteristic, which a lizard has no fur. That's also true. So that works so far. And you can do the same thing for all the organisms. We'll do one more. The fish, it has gills. That's line five. Find the go to five. It also has no feathers. That's true. Line four, find the go to four. And no fur. I lied. Let's do one more. Let's do the bear. A bear has no whiskers. Line three, to go to three. Bears also have no antlers. Also true. Line two, find the go to two. Bears have fur. And so that's how you can check the, the common scheme AB format. And that's how you complete both diagrams. Nice job.